from an Amazon review, I love this beautiful book, Beauty Will Save the World with Stories and Beautiful Pictures of Our Mother Mary by Stephen Ryan, if you love Our Mother Mary like I do, you will love this beautiful book. Welcome to Mystic Post TV on YouTube, we invite you to subscribe, thank you. This interview with Jim Caviezel was conducted by Father Mario Nezovich for Radio Mir. Jim opens up about his special relationship with the Blessed Mother and how Medjugorje changed everything in his life and how the blessings of Medjugorje prepared him for his role as Jesus in the Passion of Christ. Father Mario Nezovich, how did you hear about Medjugorje and what does Medjugorje signify for you? Jim, I first heard about Medjugorje many years ago but it was not at the center of my life. Then my wife went to visit Medjugorje and afterwards she asked me to meet Ivan Dragasevic, one of the visionaries. I met with Ivan in Ireland a couple of times while I was filming a movie there. And during our visits I also witnessed him during an apparition. During that moment I felt a physical presence. Afterwards, Ivan told me two things that really hit me, Jim, man always makes time for what he loves, and the reason man does not make time for God is that he does not love God. Then, he talked to me about praying from the heart. That became like a beginning of a mission for me, to always pray from my heart. Medjugorje has taught me about prayer. I pray for the peace in the world, I pray for my family and I pray that God may continue to make me follow him, to make me a better Catholic and a good husband. I pray that we are open to wherever Mary is leading us, and that in all the places where we go and to the people that we meet around the world, we may bring these messages. Father Mario Nezovic, The Passion of the Christ movie, in which you played Jesus. What was it like to play Jesus? Jim, the catharsis for me to play this role was through Medjugorje, through Blessed Mother. In preparation, I used all that Medjugorje taught me. During the filming, Mel Gibson and I were going every day to Mass together. Some days I couldn't go to Mass, but I was receiving the Eucharist. Somewhere along the line, I heard that the Pope was going to confession every day, so I thought that I should go for confession as often as possible. Through Medjugorje, the confession became a center in my life. I didn't want Lucifer, Satan, to have any control over the performance. As we know we have sins of omission. My sin of omission continuously is that I don't love enough. So, the confession was for the preparation of the Eucharist and to be ready to love. Visionary Ivan gave me a piece of the true cross. I kept this on me all the time. They made a special pocket in my clothes for it. While filming, every day everyone could see me with the rosary in my hands. Father Mario Nezovich, how should we bring our ladies' messages to today's world? How can we open human hearts for God's word? Jim, through one's own life. It is not what we say but what we do. I dedicate my work to her son, I dedicate all that I do to her son. I ask Mary to guide me and my career. You can convert people only by living your life. This film is something that I believe was made by Mary for her son. Because it was made by her, it will be attacked by the enemy. In the USA, this film is under major scrutiny because of the truth that it brings. By living the truth, you will also be persecuted, the enemy will attack you, but have no fear, our Lord will send his help and give you strength. And you will inherit heaven.